Thank you so much, President Vasquez, and good evening. And I also add my welcome to each and every one of you. Welcome to Miami-Dade College. During this season of gratitude and giving, it is our distinct honor to host this evening of tributes, honoring the life and contributions of a true stateswoman, a champion for all people, particularly the underserved, a woman for all seasons, the honorable Carrie P. Meek, Congresswoman. And as we stand here before you this evening at our North Campus, where as you heard, Congresswoman Meek stood and joined in addressing many, many groups in this very place, this Lehman Theater, throughout her years as an administrator and colleague at this institution, we pay and I pay our deepest condolences to Carrie Meek's entire family, especially Congressman Kendrick Meek, Lucia Davis Rayford, and Sheila Davis Kunika. In fact, there's so many accomplishments and contributions to list in terms of the huge impact the Congresswoman made in our community and in our nation. Carrie P. Meek launched, and you heard this, and created for Miami-Dade College the only institution of higher education in Liberty City, in the city of Miami's Liberty City, duly named for the Congresswoman. And that is our Carrie P. Meek Entrepreneurial Education Center, established because of federal appropriations the Congresswoman sought, fought for, and brought home to our community and to our college. Some 3,000 students are enrolled at our Meek Center today and have the opportunity to earn degrees year-round and also workforce training certifications. The Meek Center's partnership, we're so proud, is really extended to many corporate and community organizations, and that paves the way for our students to be enriched in and out of the classroom and compete for jobs and other career opportunities in the workforce. The Carrie P. Meek Endowed Teaching Chair is yet another legacy that will live on at Miami-Dade College, and it is the highest honor that any faculty member can earn at our institution for outstanding pedagogy, engagement, and mentorship of our students. Miami-Dade College was certainly the house that Carrie P. Meek helped to advance through her leadership, selflessness, and advocacy for social change. She touched so many lives in immeasurable ways, and many of you here today can definitely point to your own stories of how the Congresswoman, how Carrie P. Meek changed your lives for the better. And for me personally, when I was appointed Dean of Students in 2003, being from South Dade, and I see some elected officials here in the audience uh, from South Dade, um, I can tell you about Goulds and Perrine and Naranja and Cutler Bay. But when I got to the North Campus in 2003, I knew little about North Dade. And so I was told that you've got to speak with Carrie P. Meek. She'll show you how to navigate communities in North Dade. She'll show you how to avoid landmines, who to talk to, who you should be collaborating with, and what the needs of the North Dade and surrounding communities are. And so I remember calling up the Congresswoman, and she immediately told me to come to her house, to her home, where I was met by one of her great Danes, an awesomely beautiful uh, pet uh, and, and huge. I was a little, little scared there. But Carrie P. Meek sat me down, and she really showed me the ropes in true Carrie Meek style even gave me some tips about keeping safe if I found myself at the right place, but at the wrong time. And I um, 
have to recall that both myself and the Congresswoman laughed at that, but she said, Malu, this is serious, take heed. And I remained at the North Campus as Dean and subsequently Campus President until my colleague here beside me recently took the reins of the campus and is leading this campus in an exemplary way. I remain eternally grateful to the Congresswoman for taking the time to show me the ropes. She always made time to mentor and lift others up. That was the Congresswoman. When Kendrick and I had an opportunity to speak a couple of days after the Congresswoman's passing, I told him how sad I was at her passing, but that at the same time, whenever I thought about the Congresswoman, it brought a smile to my face. And my smile is about how Carrie Meek touched my life and those countless people in our community and beyond. And just a personal note, notwithstanding that my daughter Naya's birthday is also on April 29th, which is the Congresswoman's born day, we give thanks and praises to the Most High for the life and the life lessons the Congresswoman represented in her words and extraordinary deeds. The example she set for us to lift up those who are less fortunate than we are. The example she set for us, those of us in positions of influence to be the voice of the voiceless. The example she set of never forgetting our humble beginnings, even when we have arrived. And to carry ourselves with humility, yet fierceness as the Congresswoman did in standing tall for what is right and for claiming what's duly ours. An example of which is Congresswoman Carrie Meek's leadership and activism for fairness and equity for Haitian Americans and really everyone in our community. As I close my remarks this evening, inhaling and paying tribute to the name and life of Carrie P. Meek during this season of gratitude and giving, I say to the Meek family, and all gathered here this evening, let us always smile and forever feel heartened when we remember this phenomenal woman for all seasons. With much love and light, may Congresswoman Carrie P. Meek's soul rest in peace. Thank you. <laughs>